Is it really true that there's a fifth hidden emotion in Inside Out 2 and it appeared in the trailer and no one noticed? A new emotion! Wow! Oh, I'm sorry! We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? To find out all about this scorching piece of info, stick with the video until the end. Well, folks, officially in Inside Out, they introduced the new four emotions that will inhabit the same control center where the other five emotions reside. And the special highlight of the trailer showed us not one, but two new emotions. Anxiety, that orange figure who literally arrives with luggage on Riley's head and a secret secret emotion that will probably be the big plot twist of the movie. Yes, it briefly appears in the trailer, but hardly anyone noticed. Our little girl's growing up so fast. And things couldn't be better. Don't worry, we'll tell you who she is in a moment. But first, let's tell you who she isn't. First, everyone knows that at least officially, four new emotions will appear in the movie. Anxiety, which we've already talked about. Envious, that little and seemingly innocent girl. Ennui, who looks more like Fear's distant cousin since both have very long noses. And Embarrassed, that huge pink figure that some people even theorize could be a representation of our dear Bing Bong. And we see their names appearing at the end of the trailer for the second Inside Out movie. But we don't see any of them at any moment or hear them say anything we can understand. But let me ask you this, don't you find it a bit strange that we have five emotions and only four new ones are emerging? Doesn't that give you the feeling that nine is an odd number? Because to me, it seems like something is missing, as the ideal would not be to have just four new emotions, but to rival the five that already exist in Riley's mind. Don't you agree? Especially considering where the emotions come from, as we can see that they simply appear, as was the case with Joy, as we saw at the beginning of the first movie, where she emerged out of nowhere, representing the genuine joy a baby feels when seeing their parents for the first time. The same thing happens shortly afterward when the little baby starts crying, and Joy realizes that sadness appeared there out of nowhere. Just like her, right? Let's not be hypocrites, Joy. Oh, hello. I, I'm Joy, so can I just, if you could, I just want to fix that. <laughs> Thanks. And from that, we can deduce that all the other emotions appeared in Riley's mind as the little girl began to have new feelings, like anger, fear, and disgust. But unlike the original five emotions, it seems that Anxiety's story will be different since she appeared in the control center of emotions after the demolition team passed by and literally destroyed everything there, even the emotions couch. And as we mentioned, she didn't come alone. She brought six cases with her. We only use a suitcase when we need to carry something when we're leaving one place and going to another. Don't you agree? So, that means Anxiety already existed but was in another place, maybe even observing everything happening in Riley's life. And not just her, but other emotions that might be with her in another compartment inside Riley's mind, without access to the control panel full of buttons like the five main emotions. Notice that even she doesn't seem to know how to press the buttons correctly, and it looks like it's her first time seeing that type of control. Based on all this, from what we observed, we can deduce that she already existed, just like the new emotions that will appear in the movie. They just didn't operate in Riley's mind yet because she was too young to have certain emotions. But with the arrival of puberty, it's the right time for the emergence of new feelings and, by extension, new emotions. It's no secret that since the beginning of the production of the first Inside Out movie, Pete Docter, the creator of the film's concept, considered having nothing less than 27 emotions in Riley's head. The idea was discarded for two reasons. It would be too many characters characters in one film, and Pete thought that many people would think that some emotions wouldn't fit well in a child's mind. In fact, many of these emotions had their own designs before being discarded from the film, such as hope, lust, and even love itself. And Pixar even made a small sketch animation containing other emotions outside of those we mentioned, like pride, the same ennui that will appear in the new film, among many others. Hey, hey, everybody! I have an announcement! What is it, Freddy? Just wanted everyone to know that I'm not worried at all. And it's exactly one of these emotions that appears in the Inside Out 2 trailer that no one noticed. But we did, and we'll tell you now. There are several ways to participate in the trailer. One is actually appearing, as was the case with Anxiety. Another is having their name shown, as happened with Envious, Embarrassed, and Ennui. But another way is through their voice. And if you stop, not to see, but to listen, you'll notice that at the end of the trailer, we can hear a somewhat sinister laugh. Listen to this. <laughs> And the truth is that this laugh belongs to an emotion that participated in that same sketch animation we mentioned and was even voiced, and we have the same sound in it. At the moment when Fear crashes into the door, we see another emotion pointing at him and giving a tremendous, guess what, laugh. Listen with me now to this scene. <laughs> Your cries of pain amuse me. <laughs> now listen once again to the laugh at the end of the trailer. <laughs> 
They are absolutely identical, which means that this guy, in overalls and a mustache, is probably the fifth new emotion we'll see in Inside Out 2. And when I realized this, my mind practically exploded! Because this is going to be the gigantic plot twist in the movie that only we here on the channel, and you watching, know about! Tell me if this isn't amazing! If this is surprising you too, as it surprised us when we discovered it, comment below hashtag plot and send the video to that friend of yours who will love to know about it too. This new emotion, probably somewhere in Riley's mind, just waiting for the right moment to appear, already has a name. It's called Schadenfreude! Well, if you've never heard of it, don't worry because until a few days ago, we had never heard this huge name either. This unconventional emotion is represented by this word from the German dialect, created to express that feeling of satisfaction we feel. But we're not talking about just any satisfaction. We're talking about the one people feel when they see someone else doing badly. You know those videos of people failing? Well, when you laugh at scenes and situations like that, you're expressing Scheidenfreude. And don't lie to me because I know that at least once you've laughed at someone's misfortune. Isn't that true? Because it's a word of German origin, that's why the character, at least in its conception, wears typical German clothes and also has the typical German mustache. But the truth is, we don't know for sure if it will appear the same way in the movie since some characters, like Envious, who was created like this, will appear differently in the film even though both are still seemingly innocent girls. But one thing is almost certain, Scheidenfreude, thanks to that hint of laughter at the end of the trailer, will appear as the secret emotion of Inside Out 2. While many, like me, thought this secret emotion would be love or passion, the truth is, from all indications, Pete Doctor wants to present us with more questions related to growth and the different experiences that a teenager feels in life, rather than romantic relationships. Although that might still appear in the movie, but we believe it won't be the central focus. Scheidenfreude will probably be the emotion that will be very present in Riley's life since when we're at that age, we love to make fun of our friends and have fun, in a healthy way of course, when some of them slip and fall on their bottoms for example, or when we're playing and someone makes a mistake, everyone laughs in a friendly way. And even we laugh when we make a mistake and wonder, how did I do that? Well, all of that is Scheidenfreude! And the time when this happens the most is definitely during adolescence and puberty, which is exactly the phase Riley is entering in this new film. So folks, it's almost certain that we won't have 9 emotions in Inside Out 2, but rather 10. And who knows, maybe even more. If we happen to see where all the other emotions are stored, waiting for the right moment in Riley's life to appear. But that's a subject for maybe another video. But what I want most now is for Inside Out 2 to be released as soon as possible. That's what it feels like to experience that good old healthy anxiety. This was the plot twist we discovered about the new secret emotion that Pixar tried to hide from us, but that we managed to find in the Inside Out 2 trailer, and also by digging into the material Pixar created for the first film. Touché, Pixar! <laughs> And for you to keep having fun with other super cool videos, we've selected these two awesome videos here for you to choose and watch. Just click.